Okay, we're going to look at removing the uh, airbag from the B7. Uh, this is this applies to the A4, S4, and uh, RS4, uh, Avant Saloon, uh, and Cabriolet, all the same. Uh, the only thing to note with this, um, this is the newer one, the three-spoke steering wheel, the B7. The B7 airbag is a dual stage, as opposed to the B6, the older model, uh, which has a single stage uh, airbag. So make sure you're familiar uh, with the differences between the B6 and the B7. Uh, but if your, yours is a B7, uh, which is basically 2005 through 2007, uh, your steering wheel should look similar to this and your airbag should be this shape and this is the dual stage airbag. So the first thing that we need to look at doing is uh, to uh, uh, disconnect the battery. Okay, now looking at the uh, disconnecting the battery, um, we're doing this to uh, remove the, uh, the airbag on the B7. Uh, one thing to note is because it's the dual stage airbag, the actual uh, proper Audi manual uh, recommends you to do uh, to do the airbag change uh, only by removing the negative and uh, not, not the positive. So on the B7, uh, being the dual stage airbag, you can leave the positive connected uh, so you shouldn't even lose any of your uh, stereo settings or, or anything like that. Okay, so um, first thing to do, obviously, remove the uh, battery cover, as, as most of them are. Unfortunately, this one is, uh, is, is broken, but usually just follow the arrows, slide it to the side, and lift it off. And all we need to do with a size 10 uh, ratchet spanner, to just disconnect the uh, negative, like so, and just tuck that out of the way. Okay, so we've just uh, disconnected the uh, negative uh, terminal of the battery, uh, so we're ready to, uh, to start uninstalling the airbag. Now, uh, one thing to note uh, with this is uh, I'm actually doing this via the uh, official Audi uh, workshop manual, and that does recommend to uh, disconnect only the uh, negative uh, battery terminal. Okay, just having a, a quick look from this angle. Uh, there's two screws that hold the, uh, the airbag into the wheel. And if you look on the side here, this little semicircle shape just there, those are actually the screw cap covers. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to maneuver the steering wheel into a position where I can get a bit more uh, angle onto it. I need to remove these covers and then below these are two Torx 30 screws. Uh, the first thing is, is to get, get these covers off. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn this uh, through 90 degrees just to give us a little bit of access uh, to uh, removing the, uh, the screws. So I've got the key in. Turn it two positions just to make sure that the uh, steering lock doesn't come on. And just turn it through 90 degrees, like so. Okay, so now we've turned the uh, wheel through 90 degrees. Can you uh, get this uh, cap off? Now, very, very carefully with the hook torque, you press it in very gently, like so. And just push the whole thing sideways, pops out very, very easily. And just remove the cap. Okay, so next we've got to uh, remove the Torx that size 30 uh, screw that's in here. It's actually uh, seated at a 45 degree angle. So when you put your uh, your tool in to uh, access this, it doesn't go straight in like you might think. It's actually a 45 degree angle. Uh, because space is limited, I find the best thing to do is to put in a Torx 30 bit, like so. And get a size 10 ratchet spanner. loosen it off in this manner. Now that screw doesn't actually come out, it, stay, it stays in the steering wheel. So what you want to do is just keep undoing it. You want, to, you want to undo it far more than it actually needs. It's probably already undone, I can hear it clicking. But you can't undo it too much because like I say it will stay in situ. So just, just give it a load of twists you're happy that it's uh, probably disconnected, like so. Okay, so we've removed the screw on the one side. So now all we need to do is just turn the wheel through 180 degrees, <coughs> like so. Now to give us access to the other side. So exactly as before, uh, just remove the, uh, the screw cap and then remove that screw. Okay, so with the, uh, with the two screws removed, uh, you find that the whole uh, unit's nice and loose. This can just be uh, moved carefully forward. Now don't uh, pull it out too quickly, so you've got your electrical connections on the back, like so. Now if you have a quick look on here, uh, what we have on the, on the rear here are the uh, dual connections, the dual stage airbag, as so this is the, uh, the B7 model. Uh, the B6 only has one of these, the B7 has this dual stage airbag. 
and you also have a couple of spade connectors there. Now you've got two options, you can either remove uh, these two just by simply inserting a little uh, a screwdriver under the lip, popping that centre yellow section up and then pulling the whole clip out and then disconnecting the two uh, spade connectors. Uh, or, as is the, uh, the, the recommended method of doing it, we can remove this connector on the inside of the wheel. Now if you have a quick look at this, uh, obviously you've got the airbag going into one side. You've actually got another connection that comes out the other side of this plug down to a second plug down here. Uh, your, your steering wheel may not have this. Uh, this is uh, one of the options. Uh, so it may not have this. If it hasn't, then it makes it nice and easy. Uh, this one has. So you see on this yellow connector, there's a little purple uh, tab on the top of it. Now what I need to do is just uh, pull this purple tab up to back towards me and then the whole plug should, uh, should come out. Like so. And then like I said, we've got this uh, on this uh, particular car, we've got this additional plug down here. I should be uh, trying to lift that up on, on this side here. Like so, that's better. There you go. And once you have that disconnected, your airbag's ready to go.